You'd think popular travel websites show you all hotels, right? Well, they don't. Actually, you're kind of hotel blind. Different websites show you different hotels. Some websites may only show you these, while some apps show you those. But because Trivago compares hundreds of sites, Trivago shows you a better overview of available hotels. And that's one more way Trivago helps you find your ideal hotel for the best price. Hotel Trivago. Stood over the victim at that point, shot him a second time in the head in full view of the victim's wife. Many people along this block are grieving tonight. It wouldn't sound cliche, you see this on TV all the time, but he is probably the nicest, best guy I've ever met in my whole life. Really, seriously. Brian Doherty is talking about neighbor and friend, 51-year-old Brooks Jennings. Authorities say this man, Clayton Carter, another neighbor, gunned down Jennings at 1 a.m. as the two men stood at their shared property line. Neighbors say the 51-year-old Carter seen here following his arraignment was a quarrelsome, argumentative man. Court records claim Carter had a history of disputes with multiple neighbors. His front yard crowded with cars at times and hand-lettered anti-Trump signs. But the disputes along the block not political, but personal. Neighbors say fueled apparently by some unknown anger inside Carter's head. We steered clear of him. We were uh, frightened of him because he's so unpredictable. Friends say that Gregarious Jennings tried to reach out to Carter years ago. He lived right next door to him. He would, I, at first, he would invite him to things and everything. And, and that's not Brooks's nature, just to let a pastor. little feud. And, and like to him, it's like, hey, why can't we just get along, right. you know? And unfortunately, he met someone who didn't feel the same way. But Jennings' friends say Carter rebuffed the olive branch. Today, Carter told his attorney the shooting was self-defense. My client says that he was justified in doing so because he was under attack by a knife-wielding assailant. He says that Mr. Jennings had a knife. That's correct. Well, the prosecution rejects the idea that this was any way justified. Carter is charged with a number of crimes, including first-degree murder. Because of that charge, he is not eligible for bail in Pennsylvania. Live in West Goshen Township, John Rollins, Channel 6 Action News. Brian. 